and in Microsoft Excel right now, I'm gonna go to my Insert tab, click Get Add-ins, then I'm gonna search for Open AI. And it's gonna pull up a bunch of ones that are related to kind of chat GPT and generative AI. Let's go down here, I'm looking for one that I've been using today. See if I can find it in a second. Let's see here, oh, there it is. GPT in Excel. And it, I am absolutely amazed by what this can do. And there's all different kinds of add-ins or other term might be able to use as plugins. You know, ChatGPT is something very similar. So you can see I already have it added in already today. So I'm gonna, just gonna open it right here. But that's how you go in, go in to be able to add it yourself if you wanted to. And here we have some GPT functionality right within my Excel. So I'm using this one that a prompt for name five fruits, gives me an H list or a horizontal list. And now let's check out the GPT underscore list, which is gonna give me a vertical list of items. And let's ask it to, let's see if it can give me kind of revenue sources and see what it does there for a list of revenue sources. Sources of revenues for a city. In Arizona. I'm gonna do Arizona, see if it's specific to Arizona. I know there's different cities of different laws and different things like that. So it's gonna show me a busy thing. Let's see what happens here and see if it can pull this open. It should, it worked for me a second ago before I started recording my screen. And look at that, right there. We have a list right here in Excel. And what I can do here, I can copy it. I can paste it over here. Now let's go to Microsoft Word. Again, same function, insert, office add-ins. And, and this one is just absolutely incredible. Again, I'm gonna search chat GPT in this one. And there's one that comes up called Ghostwriter. You can see there's different versions of it. There's a consultant, an author, there's a legal edition, there's a scientific, a medical one, marketing, education, different kind of functionalities. But look below here, look what it has. After this, Ghostwriter for government, folks. How cool is this? So I'm gonna get it added in here. It's gonna open up right here in the, on this column here. And here we have our different prompts. I'm gonna try to pick some prompts here. And while I'm doing this, this is, to me, this is going to completely change the way I draft content and how I create content at work. This is a, I, I don't know if I can overstate how much of a game changer this particular plugin and this technology within the Microsoft Word platform is. I know it seems like, you know, it seems kind of uh, weird to say it's you know hard work to copy and paste something from ChatGPT into into a Word document, but seriously, to be able to quickly look at the Word document and then you can edit it right within the Word document, right? You can copy you can, instead of having to copy and paste and kind of figure out where you were, what's going on with it, you can do everything right here within Word, guys. This is absolutely incredible. Let's see if I can find I'm looking for something specific. Okay, yeah, law enforcement agency. Here we go. And it doesn't really have anything in terms of city manager. I might send them an email asking them to do some stuff with city managers and local government. Um, I'll, I'll probably send an email later this week to whoever the creators of Ghostwriter is and uh, and advocate for some city management and some local government uh, job titles in here and things like that. But let's have it write an RFP for the purchase of Axon body cameras for 95 police officers. And just see what it does with this and kind of I want to make it nice and broad because when I use GPT or, or an AI model, I like making something broad. That way I can kind of see in a way how big the sandbox I'm playing in. Uh, I can always refine it later down the road and as I play along with it and see what happens, I can kind of refine that. But let's do, uh, let's do 95 Axon body cameras. I should put in there you know, the number of you know, what kind of model the body cameras are, things like that. But for this, I don't want to get into that kind of detail. So let's see here. Let's hit this enter and watch what happens. This is this is incredible. I, I, I'm at a loss for words in terms of what this, what this can do. Look at that. I wrote the prompt and right here within Microsoft Word is a short little RFP memo. And obviously it's not perfect. I get it's not perfect. I have to refine the prompt and things like that. But it's incredible what it can do. Now let's do the same thing here. Let's write a memo to a procurement officer, 
we'll call this person Jim Doe and we'll make it from uh, a police chief named Jane Doe and know they're not related. Even in fictitious worlds, we, we avoid nepotism, folks. But let's, let's see what happens here if we do this and see what it comes up with and see how it, how it works. And let's request, um, let's do $10,000 worth of, um, I'm trying to think what we could do. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. Well, body armor. Let's try body armor. Yeah. And let's use carryover funds from this past fiscal year. I don't know if it's going to do with the carryover fund thing. I'm just curious. So let's just see what's going to happen, right? Let's play around with this and see what happens. And I'm going to just make this really broad here. I'm looking for something specific. Let's see. I might just do... I might just do nothing. Let's do not applicable for all of them. Yeah. Unless I find anything about law enforcement or anything like that that I want to use. No. Not applicable. So. I actually a memorandum. And watch this, folks. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Look what it does. Right there. How cool is that? GPT right within your Microsoft Office, right within your Microsoft Excel. I literally just downloaded Microsoft Excel in Office yesterday. There's nothing fancy I've done behind the scenes. You've seen everything I've done, and look at that. Absolute game changer.